She's nice, love. Where'd you get her? Oh, my dad got me here for my birthday. The guy from, um, do you remember when there was a fairy glen in Stanley Park? We used to go there when I was little. So he rescued her for me just before they knocked it down. I got mine from that big house in Anfield Road, just past the ground. You know, them big houses by the old Archbishop's residence. I just managed to get the last but one of the litter. Full pedigree and kennel club registered. She's two years old now, but the kids love her. We call her Flopsy, but her Cruft's name is Lady Florence of Anfield. I got him off one of the lads by eyes, but he eats them. It cost a few bob like, but he's worth it. I found him on a building site after demolition. I think he'd be in abandons. So I thought, take him home, take care of him. He doesn't need a lot of looking after. He's definitely a mongrel and he's very old. I think it's a sad situation, but it's happening all over the place. It is grim looking at the place you love and it's in tatters. I guess you can't oppose change all your life though. I just hope all this mess is worth it in the end. A little bit behind these ways. It's just a shame it's all going to waste. Well, this will be the second time in 20 years I've had to move. The last place I lived in came down in the 80s. All this demolition. I suppose we'll have to live with this noise and dust for ages. Mind you, the plans they showed us were very attractive, so it must all be for the best. Oh well, that's progress. As I said, it is a sad situation. Well, I think the people of this city should uh, be given more chance to voice their opinions. Plus, the powers that be should pay more attention to them. Especially when it relates to things that we hold dear in our hearts and things we've loved all our lives. Excuse me, it's doing its business. Oh, oh, sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye then. See you too. God bless. Take care now.